So in today's tech tip, I'll be showing you how to overlay sports data on your videos recorded with a DJI Osmo Action 5 Pro. So it's going to be a slightly longer video than usual. So basically what you need to do is find how to record this extra information like heart rate, like uh, speed, distance, direction. And for that, you're gonna use a third party tool especially if you don't have the DJI camera remote. Personally, for me, I'm using the Apple Watch. So I'm gonna show you how to record all this data from the Apple Watch and then transfer it to the DJI app and then use it on your videos. So let's go outside and let me show you how to do it. So once you have your camera ready, uh, depending on what activity you're recording, it could be a jog, a walk. For me, it's going to be a cycle. And uh, so I have the camera ready right here and I'm planning to record this uh, particular quick cycle. So also I'm going to get my Apple Watch ready in the activities. So I'm going to go to my Apple Watch and look for the cycling outdoor cycle activity. So the trick here is to start both at the same time. All right. So as soon as I press record, I'm also going to press uh, the outdoor cycle to record. Outdoor cycle, I'm going to press that and then press this at almost the same time, all right? So that the recordings are more or less synced. So let's do that. I'm going to press record. There you go, that's recording. And then I'm also going to start the outdoor cycle activity immediately. Three second timer and it started recording and my video is recording. So I'm gonna go and climb that hill and then record that data. And then we'll go back to the studio and I'll show you how to sync them up, All right? So once you're done with your workout, make sure you stop the recording and the exercise on your watch at the same time. All right. So that's stopped and that's going, that data is going to be sent to the Apple Health app on my iPhone from where I'm going to sync with this video I've just recorded. So let's go back inside and see how to do that. So now we are back at the studio. Just gonna turn on the camera and then bring up the DJI MIMO app and connect the camera to the app. She'll take a couple of seconds. There you go, so we're now connected. We should see our footage right there. So here's the footage with my cameraman here. So it's a seven minute clip, okay? Now, before I go ahead, I wanna just say something. Make sure the GoPro time and date matches with your watch's time and date. So the best way to do that is to regularly connect the camera to the phone because the camera will pick up the phone's time and the watch obviously has the phone's time, okay? So that's very important for the DJI Mimo app to pick the correct data from Apple Health. Anyway, with that out of the way, here's our clip, all right? So, you can see it's the roll clip when we were starting. And then here's me climbing up that hill like that slowly. So now what you want to do is inside this DJI Mimo app, there's going to be an editor. So you have trip options, color options and all that. So look for dashboard and then tap on it. And then it's gonna say it's loading dashboard data. Now in the dashboard data, you'll have information like elevation, date, time, uh, timer, GeForce, all that stuff. 
But if you want data from the Apple Watch, tap on data import. So if you tap on that, it's gonna ask you where you want to import the data from. Now, since we are using an Apple Watch, that data goes to the Apple Health app. So tap on that, and then it's gonna pick the correct data from Apple Watch. So once you do that, you can now come here and select biking because we were doing biking and it's going to add all the data it collected from that little exercise into the video. So now when I play the video, you can see all the data has been overlaid onto the clip. Okay, you can just forward the clip a bit and you can see uh, I'm struggling here at six kilometers per hour. You can see the distance change, the elevation should change as well. Now you can add or remove different elements of this data. So for instance, if you want to get rid of speed, you can just uncheck speed, that's going to remove speed. And you can go adding and removing different uh, types of data. We have the inclination, the direction, all that data. Now, in case your data is not aligned perfectly, you can just come here to the data adjustment option, tap on that, and then select ali time alignment. And then this is going to allow you to push the clip and the data either one second forward or you can use this uh, to go one second a couple of seconds behind or forward until the video aligns to exactly the way it should be and once you're happy with that now keep in mind that that alignment might take a while there's no timeline there's no separate timeline for the data and the video for you to just align them using the graphical user interface you kind of have to just keep pressing the plus to push forward or minus to push backwards until everything aligns, all right? So once everything is aligned properly, just tap on the check mark and tap on the check mark again. And then now you're ready to export your video to your gallery. So I'm going to export mine in 4K. You can first of all, get rid of the watermark. So just tap on 4K, go to watermark and then remove the watermark, or you can leave it there if you want to. And then now go ahead and export your video. So I'm going to export mine in 4K, like I said, and then tap on export, and that should export my video with the overlays, right? So let me just show you one I recorded yesterday. So this is one uh, interesting clip I recorded yesterday with all this data in the video, okay? So that is basically how to overlay sports data from your Apple Watch on your clips from the DJI Osmo Action 5 Pro. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe. And if you have any comments or questions, talk to us in the comment section. Good luck.